Now, this is her first appearance since that event. She joins me now in an exclusive interview. Carrie, welcome back. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Sean. Thank should you for having me. I, should, I, should I congratulate you, or are you sad about the events that, as they have unfolded now uh, in the last couple of hours? Well, I'm definitely not sad about it. I'm a little bit disappointed. Now, you, I read your statement here, and by the way, in typical fashion, you have been very gracious. You thank the people of California, uh, you thank Donald Trump, you thank uh, Tammy Farrell, who's going to be replacing you. Uh, I know she'll do a great job, she, you said. So, mm -hmm. but yet there's this controversy. Tell us what happened. Uh, Sean, I honestly don't know what happened. All I know is yesterday morning, I was on my way to an event and I got a phone call from the media and they said what's your statement basically and I said about what and they said you know about you getting fired and I, I couldn't believe it I, I was absolutely speechless I didn't know what to say what it was the, the first I'd heard of it what the now that's how they never contacted you you found out from the media that this had happened mm -hmm. uh, yes I did your statement, you said, I worked in good faith to meet all my responsibilities as Miss California. You met every scheduled appearance, every responsibility. Mm -hmm. You followed the proper protocol, et cetera, et cetera, about engagements. You didn't do anything outside of what the contract said. There was, and as far no. as you're concerned, no violation at all? I have not violated my contract. In fact, I have worked so hard since the press conference, and I thank Donald Trump so much for all he's done for me. But I have followed the contract uh, to the T and done everything possible to cooperate with, with the circumstances that I was under. So I have not done anything to be in breach of contract, Sean. Now, I, I, the, the people from, I guess, uh, Miss California, the pageant, this is not Donald Trump, by the way, this, the people that you were having conflicts from from the very beginning, they, they got in contact with my office, wanted to make sure I saw these emails, this list of emails here. And one of the things I'm noticing, they didn't release the entire thread of emails. Have you seen the ones that have been right. released? No, I haven't. And I mean, of course, that's obvious that they're not going to release all of the information that was back and forth. But I know that there was about 70 emails back and forth from us, whether it was from my attorney to Keith Lewis's attorney or from myself back to Keith or his assistant. So there was constant communication. It just definitely was a miscommunication. Well, there were times I, I could tell that you were a little bit frustrated in, in the things that they were asking you to do. For example, there's this one exchange why would you even allow this offer to be presented and this specifically was uh you said it was unprofessional playboy had offered you money to pose semi-nude right and that was actually maybe a few days after the press conference i could not believe the email that i received it was two different offers one was for a reality show the other one was for playboy and my mouth just dropped sean i couldn't believe that my directors were asking me to do this sort of thing right after this huge press conference. Yeah. Well, and you even said in this, of course I would not do that. It's a setup to get me dethroned. Do you think that they were purposely setting you up? And do you think by releasing these private, and they've released your private email address, that they purposely, yeah. why would they do that? And how do you feel about that? Well, Sean, all I know is from the moment I gave my answer on stage that night, I have had no support from Keith Lewis or Shana Mokler, or from anybody from the Miss California organization. Yeah, well, what you, one of the things you said, you, and you, you talk about this in your press release, you said you hope Americans watching this story uh, understand that you've learned through all this, that you've done your de best under difficult circumstances to handle the vicious attacks. Now, Perez mm -hmm. Hilton, who asked that original question, he called you a dumb and then he used the B word. Very few mm -hmm. people came to your defense. Why do you think that is? Right, and I think at this point everybody is trying to cover themselves. Uh, you know, this this is a business, and this is a, a, a pageant, and nobody wants to look like the bad guy. I think that I was bold enough to take a stand that I took on that stage that night. Uh, I lost the crown, I think, because of my answer, and whether or not people want to agree with me or not, but this is all happening right now because of the stance that I took and the boldness. Uh, that I took for traditional marriage. Yeah, but you know, but the the strange thing is, you were so gracious even when you were saying that. I know people disagree, but you asked my opinion on a controversial issue. Uh, this is the same opinion of the people of California when they had an opportunity to vote. This is the same opinion of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Right, and I think that. 
Exactly, Sean, and I think that this is definitely a test to Americans uh, to see if tolerance is a two-way street. Bottom line, this is what it comes down to. In that sense, I would agree with you that you are a victim of intolerance here. Um, right. Do, do you think there was a political agenda on the part of the people? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think Keith Lewis from day one has had his own personal agenda. Um, and I, it's been very hard to deal with that. And since the moment I gave my answer, he has not supported me. He actually came out with a statement saying he's deeply saddened and hurt that I gave the answer that I did and reached out to Perez Hilton and, and apologized on my behalf. So from yeah. that moment on, Sean, this is why we're dealing with you know, it, it's, it, it is kind of amazing that I think a lot of the intolerance in the country now is coming from the left. Uh, if, if you look at David Letterman's comments about Governor Palin, if you look at this, the Playboy magazine, you know, the comments about women uh, and a list of conservative women. Uh, this has not been a defining issue. You're a Christian. You're, you're conservative. You have social conservative values. But this is not, you told us in the last interview, this is not the defining issue for you in your life, is it? No, this is not, this is not, this has nothing to do with me against any particular group or, you know, this has nothing to do with me hating gays or whatever. I mean, this is, bottom line, I answered a, a question at a beauty contest <laughs> and now I am being punished. I'm being dethroned because of the answer that I gave. I mean, this is what it comes down to. I'm not in breach of contract. I haven't signed any book deal or signed with any business uh, proposal. Bottom line is this is all happening because of the answer that I gave, Sean. Well, and I think the majority of Americans know it. Your attorney put out a statement today that this Keith Lewis from the pageant is bordering on slander and uh, by attacking you, is he begging for a lawsuit? Is there, do you think there will be legal action? I'm not sure. Uh, that's definitely something that my lawyers are looking into. Yeah, right. let, let me ask you another thing. You said really nice things about Donald Trump. The last time you were here, you also said nice things. I'm, I'm a friend of Donald's. So I told you that the last time. You thanked yeah. him for his support. You're grateful for, to him. You admire and respect him. Do you think he's caught in the middle here? I absolutely do. I, I think that he is caught in the middle. And again, he has a business to run. And he is a very brilliant man and I respect his decision and I know that it was either me or Keith and I think that it came down to me going so yeah I'll always respect Donald Trump's decision and I admire him greatly alright so I guess the biggest question is now in in the sense that maybe I was talking about earlier congratulating you what do you, what do you see in the future for Carrie Prejean well I definitely see me speaking out and taking a stand for uh, you know what I believe in and I want to encourage Americans of all ages to not be silent yeah. and to speak out and state your beliefs and not be afraid and uh, you know you will probably face vicious attacks but not nearly the attacks that I've had yeah. so don't be afraid and, and be encouraged to stand up for what you believe in and, and don't be scared yeah well I agree with you on your answer by the way and you know if Perez Hilton wants to come on this program and say the things he he said about you to me to my face I dare him let him come on the program uh, but <laughs> well thank you Sean and uh, thank you so much for your support you've been great all right Carrie best uh, best to you and we'll, uh, we'll invite you back on the program again so we really wish you the best and thank you for being with us tonight